Hi, my name is Bill Bradley. I'm an extreme endurance athlete, and this is my motivational video. The topic of today's video is just relax. Are you a person who, you know, when you, you play sports or anything, you tend to tense up, you know, when you're out there? Or if you're taking a test in school, you tense up. Or if you're making a presentation, you know, at work, you tense up. Well, I've definitely been that type of person in my life. I've definitely been somebody who's tensed up in all those situations. Well, let me tell you, you do not perform at your top level if you're tense. If you're tense and your muscles are stressed and your brain is tense, you do not perform at top level. You cannot focus in a tense state. You cannot you cannot be a good athlete, you know, in a tense state. You just can't. Your muscles are too tense and you're you're not going to you're not going to get the max out of yourself. So I want to talk to you recently where this came up again with me. And trust me, I know this stuff too. But it's it just it comes up again and again. We're in spots where you're really not thinking about it. So I've worked, as you know, I'm going for my sixth attempt at the English Channel. I am on a freaking mission to finish it this year, and so I've really worked hard on my on my technique. You know, as far as my swimming goes, you know, to bring me to that next level that's going to carry me to France. And so I've worked hard. My stroke is doing much better. But the one thing I keep hearing over and over again is your feet are sinking, right? Your feet are sinking. So as I, I can do it, if I'm sprinting, my feet will stay up. Obviously, if you're kicking and your feet are, you know, splashing the water up above and you're parallel, you're going to go faster than if your feet start to sink and you, you know what I mean, and you're, you're, you're dragging yourself pretty much. And so I have different levels of that. You know, that's what my coach, I would go to my coach, I'd say, oh, I'm still hearing that my feet are sinking. And he says, well, they're not sinking as bad as they were, Bill. <laughs> and so I felt better about that. And plus, he's seeing me in the pool, which is fresh water, which is less buoyant. So I'm thinking in the salt water that I'm doing much better with my feet not sinking, right? I mean, I'm going like, hey, well, he's not around me when I'm swimming in the bay. My feet are probably up a lot higher now, you know, since I've been working so hard on concentrating, you know, like, really trying to force my chest down to get my butt up and my legs up. You know, all these things I've been taught, you know, to try to, to stop this. Well, anyway, I went out on this three hour swim a little while ago and I remember, and I had a kayaker with me, you know, this was in, this is the swim we did in uh, Tamales Bay. And, and I got back and, and I got a message like two days later and it was from the kayaker and he had tracked down my phone number and he called me up, he says, and he said, and he left me a message, he said, I have something I need to tell you. <laughs> and so, so when I got him on the phone, he, the first thing he said is, Bill, your feet are sinking when you're swimming. And I thought, no, not again. The feet sinking thing. I can't stand this feet sinking thing. <laughs> and so I thanked him. I thanked him because I wasn't aware that it was that bad in the salt water. And so I went up and I talked to my coach, Mark Stanley, a really elite, great swimmer, you know. And I said, I can't take it anymore, Mark. We got to figure out how to get my feet up. I can't take that. I just, I got to be able to fix that. And so I start swimming and he goes, Bill, I think what you're doing is you're tensing up too much. I go, what gives you that idea? Because I'm trying to squeeze my gut, get my head, you know, my head, my chest down, get my butt up, you know. <laughs> He says, why don't you just try relaxing? Just seriously relax. Just relax. Just relax. And we tried first to do a little kicking troll across the boat. And all I kept telling my, I talked to my legs mostly. I said, I need you to relax. I need you to relax. I need you to relax. And you know what? My feet went up when I relaxed. I wasn't trying to shove my head down, my head and chest down. I was just relaxing my feet. And they went up. And so I went to the bay and I started, I said the same thing in the bay. I said, just relax, just relax, just relax, just relax. I got to feel my feet. Because what I was told, if your feet are splashing, your body's in the right position that it, it belongs in. You know, my buddy, another friend of mine told me that. And so, so I'm just like, just relax. And so I've gone out there, I've done, you know, a handful of these swims and I just keep telling myself to relax. And those feet are getting up there higher. So when you're doing your sport or you have your test or you have, you know, your event, 
you got to talk to yourself too and say, just relax, just relax, just relax. Magic happens when we relax. Anyway, if you're interested, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. If you have a comment for me, put it in the YouTube comment section. I love the comments. If you have a, if you have a question for me, put it in the YouTube comment section. Or if you're interested in having me talk to your team, your group, your company, your organization, please email me at epicbillbradley at gmail.com and we will get you out some information. Thank you very much.